Well, I'll tell you what, I'm, <laughs> I'm just super excited to get a win, first and foremost. Uh, I'm excited that the first half was about as good a half as we've played all year long. Uh, so when you watch our team execute, the coaches get a chance to, to really coach and, and throw everything they got in this X and O box at the other team because our team, our young team, was listening and applying. And that's a great feeling, but I just, we had a lapse in it in the second half where I think we got satisfied with the first half and it put us in an absolute dog fight. I'm just glad to come away with the win. You've talked after several games this year about, especially games that went the other way, you've talked about the message you've given your team in the locker room afterward. When you have a team give up a lead, come back, get the tying basket, go ahead and win, what was your message like? How did you and your team discuss this one in the locker room? Well, first, I had to go in and celebrate with them because they were super excited about the win and the fashion in which we won the game. Um, they were dancing. They had the music blasting. So I just went in and I started dancing, too. And, um, but the message was, ladies, down the stretch, we listened and we applied. Uh, we could have very easily given up on that game. And uh, we just continued to fight and put ourselves in a position. But I think the last two possessions that we had, uh, I told four of our players, I said, I got four of y'all, I need y'all to sprint and find a spot on the three-point line and just knock it down. We got the steal and Bree, I said, all four of y'all can handle it. We just took it and set the feet, rose up, knocked it down, and we got excited. Then when I saw Kayla White get the foul, I said, oh, it's all no. But the fact that we got an opportunity, um, she missed the free throw. We got the rebound call timeout. And everything came together. Everybody slowed down. Everybody listened. It was only a 30-second timeout. And I asked Ariana, was she, Whitfield, was she ready to win the game? What did she say, Bree? She said yes. She said yes. I said, okay, I want you to throw this ball to Bree, go get a handoff, and take it to the rim and finish it. Because I knew I didn't think Temple was going to put themselves in a position to follow. Uh, so I thought we had a chance to win, and she executed it. Here we are. Bree, you hit the tying three with, what was it, 12, 12 seconds, seconds left? Have you ever hit one like that, either to tie or win a game in high school, yeah. before high school? Um, yeah, back in high school, we played one in Haven. They went to play in um, uh, Geico Nationals, and um, my team beat them. Um, we're, I, be, I, I scored the, uh, the tying three to go into overtime. So it was just like, I, it felt like that. So when you hit tonight, are you thinking about the margin? You've got to hit it to, you hit it or you lose, or what? What are you thinking when that shot leaves your hand? Um, I when, it, when the shot left my hand, I was just thinking what Coach said, just to knock it down. <laughs> so I had the confidence to do so. Coach had the confidence in me. When, when your risk paid off and, you know, everybody in the crowd went crazy, what were you experiencing in that moment? I was experiencing, like, relief. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I was just happy that it went in. Like, if it didn't go in, it, I don't who knows how the game would have went at, at the end. Um, but then y'all did end up winning, and I saw everybody was happy, laughing on the court. Um, what were the celebrations with your teammates like? The celebrations were everybody congratulating me and Ari, and then everybody's just hyped, and then we get into the locker room and we're playing Obama, just, just getting there. Um, y'all communicated really good, got an early lead in the um, first half. Um, what was the biggest factor in communicating and working as a team on the court in that first half? Um, just doing our jobs and then playing what Coach says. You came in to tonight, you'd only hit seven threes all year. You go two for three tonight. Are you now part of the three-point weapons in the offense? Let me answer that. Okay. Absolutely. <laughs> the, the thing about Bree, Bree is, a, Bree is an excellent shooter. Uh, she's one of the best shooters, if not the best three-point shooter on our team. You guys just don't know that, so I have a lot of confidence in her. And it's just a matter of her getting her feet set. Sometimes she shoots it before she grabs it. She's already ready to shoot it, but when she gets it and, and shoots her feet, she can shoot, shoot with anybody down there on the court. So she's a part of our three-point arsenal. On the defensive end of the floor, Temple shot 21% in the first half and 50% in the second half. Were they doing something different with their offense to get different looks, or was it just the shots started falling, or did you guys change up your defense? Why the, the big difference in shooting percentage? You want me to answer that, or you want to answer that? I can answer it. Um, it, wasn't, it, was, it wasn't them, it was more so us. Um, we just, you know, we, like, we got complacent when we went back in, and so 
we just needed to bring that energy that we had back in the first half back, and once we did, we ended up winning the game. What did either of you think when Alicia Froling was helped off the floor, and how did that change things on either end for what you guys could do without your senior leader? Well, when I saw that, it, I just felt we were snake bitten. You know, I, I, I think about Amber Bacon, who's a big part of what we wanted to do. We lose her, and right now we don't have Marie. She's been cussed. Uh, and then to see Alicia go down, and I just didn't know the severity of the sprain. Um, and I was like, wow, here we go with another one. I have such a young team, I can't have any of my pieces missing. I have quite a few, and I'm about to lose another one. But when my coaches told me she was, she was fine and she could play again, I, I still wasn't sure if I wanted to put her back in the game. And she kept telling me, coach, I'm fine. Uh, but I just know sometimes the adrenaline is flowing, and I didn't want her to hurt that more. And going down the stretch, I won't have Alicia. She's too important. You've had several close games this year that have gone the wrong way. And when you give up a 19-point lead, Temple takes the lead. Was there ever a point when you or your teammates thought, oh, no, here we go again, that it was slipping away? Yeah, but, you know, we, we always had that fight in us. We kind of lost it. But, you know, today we brought it back and we wanted to compete. And that's exactly what we did. How does this win... Um boost like the team morale and boost your confidence in each other? What was the question? How does this win like boost your confidence in your teammates um, and boost like the team morale after um, like breaking a tough time? Uh, it gives us more confidence. Um, you know, we... Oh my gosh, <laughs> sorry. No, it does give you confidence. It, it gives us confidence. Yeah, we have we have a few more games left, and you know it gives us confidence for the next game that we have, and then you know just finish the season out, and hopefully you know get to the championship of the uh, conference conference championship. Yeah, I would love that. You've talked all year about how, what a young team this is, and all the steps that your team has to go through learning learning how to win. Is it almost better to have a win like this, where you have to not necessarily give away a lead, but uh, have to fight fight down the stretch rather than blowing someone out. Is this more of a learning point for your team? You know what? I, I thought we had covered this in early in the season. <laughs> I thought we had got past that and we had learned the things that we needed to do. Um, I think what this win does in the fashion we want it, it, it reinforces how focused we have to be, uh, how disciplined we have to be, and how connected we have to be. And... Um, I think that was a, a real good reminder. Yes, their confidence, and I, and I hope that brings back that fight that, that we had early on in the first half of the season.